Hello, Klaus here, and welcome back to yet another video here at the channel. In today's video, which is a very quick one, we're going to jump into DaVinci Resolve 20 and see how this very small improvements in compound clip actually works. And for a person that's loving compound clips, this is a very nice feature. So without further ado, let's jump right into this quick video. Okay, so here we are in DaVinci Resolve 20, and we're going to have a look at this little change that has been added into the compound clip. I love using compound clips because you can have a lot of video tracks combined into one, and it's just going to make it way easier when you're working. So let's just have a look here. So let's see, I have a compound clip here, and let's say I want to go in and change something uh, in this text right here. Normally, I would right click here and I would open in timeline. I'm going to do the same. However, when I go up here and I open in timeline, my playhead is going to open up the exact same spot where I actually put it, meaning that I want to change this text, so I can click right here. I can go over here in my text, and for instance, just change the font or whatever I want. If I want to change the font, the font was actually pretty good, but uh, nevertheless, I could change the font. Or for instance, I, I also have a compound clip in a compound clip right here. So I could open this in timeline as well. So now I have this and what I did in this, I all I did was I, um, in this compound clip, I just masked this out because there's no alpha channel in this one. So, but if there was something wrong with the mask, I could go in and change that. And then I could just go back like that to the compound clip and change that. Also, let's just do this again. Also, if I want to change some keyframes, because I did do keyframes, I could go into the new keyframe editor here and uh, you know, move around the keyframes if I wanted to. So this is just a very small new feature in a very nice update by Blackmagic. Anyway, I do hope you found this kind of videos useful. If you do, please hit that subscribe button, give the video a like, and push that bell icon down in the corner if you want to be notified every time there's another video here at the channel. Anyway, until next time, keep filming, keep learning, and keep sharing.